and here we have a couple clips and I'm going to show you a couple keys and I'm going to use just my right hand on the keyboard. Obviously you can't see this here, but this is all using the right hand and you should try this as well to, to learn this skill of using your hand to mark clips as either favorite, rejected, uh, or even unmarked. So if I hit the space bar, it plays a clip. And if you hit the space bar again, it pauses it. And right now I wasn't in the browser, so let me click up here on the clip. So there we go. So we hit the space bar, it plays a clip. Here we have a little, uh, this is a drone shot just flying around. I'm gonna hit the space bar again to pause it. So that's the first thing. Pretty easy, right? Just hit the space bar to play something, hit it again to pause it. Now use J, K, and L keys. So J is rewind, K is pause, and then L is play. And if you hit L again, it starts fast forwarding. If I hit K, it pauses. And we'll hit J a couple times and notice we're quickly rewinding across this shot. And I'll hit the space bar to pause it. All right, so if we're working out, the moves that you're gonna use right now are space bar to play, K to fast forward, if you hit it a couple times, it speeds up. Then use the K key to pause and then use J a couple times to quickly rewind a clip. All right, that's your first move in this little Final Cut workout. You're able to fast forward, rewind, and essentially navigate clips. This works on the timeline, it works up here in the browser, anywhere that you're looking. Now the next thing, next set of keys, are gonna be I and O. And this is to bark an in point using I, and I'll hit the space bar to play the clip a little bit. Maybe I'll hit L a couple times to fast forward. K to pause. And I'm going to hit O to mark an out point. Notice the yellow line that's on the, around that clip there. If I go up a clip, I'm going to do this on another one up here. And I'm going to hit the uh, space bar to play it. Hit I to set an in point. And notice on these green trees, it's a little bit easier to see. And I'll hit O to set an out point. And I'll hit the space bar to pause it. So I to mark an in point or a starting point and O to mark an out point or an ending point. All right, so the first move was just playback and we use the J, K, and L keys to do that, space bar as well. And then to mark a clip, we're using I and O to set an in and out point. Now an in and an out point just marks the range of it. The last step in this little Final Cut workout is to mark this clip either as a favorite, which is the F key, or as rejected, which is the delete key. So in this case, I wanna favorite a couple points here. So I'm gonna go back using J, I'll rewind back here, and I'm gonna hit I to mark an in point, hit the space bar to play it, Hit O to set an out point. There I've marked part of it, and I want to favorite that section. So I'll hit F. And how you use favorite and rejected clips is up to you. Uh, the easiest way, if you're new to this, is I recommend using favorites as a way to mark parts of a clip that you want to use. Anything that's good, hit the F key when you have it selected, mark it as a favorite, and uh, anything you don't want to use, you can reject it. So if this middle section, maybe I don't want it, I'll hit I to set an in point, and then O to set an out point, and I'll use the delete key to delete that segment, and notice it rejects it. Now don't worry, you're not losing this clip forever. We've just rejected part of it. I can select that same segment and hit the U key to unmark that selection. And now it's no longer marked, and I've uh, done that. Now if you hit the delete key, and this clip disappears, it's because of your menu at the top right here that's currently set for me to all clips. You might have it set to hide rejected, which is usually the case, that's kind of the default. And that way anything that you delete or reject is gonna be hidden. You can go up here as well and show just your favorite clips and it'll show just the two segments we marked as favorite. Or I could see just the rejected parts and it shows everything that I've gone through and rejected. And you can unmark stuff in here. So that is kind of the first segment here of the Final Cut Gym. It's your little workout 
and it's time for you to go and do it yourself. So the challenge on this workout is simple. Just go through and play back some clips using the space bar, and then use J, K, and L on the keyboard to rewind, pause, and fast forward. Once you have playback down, go through and use I and O to mark in and out points. That'll let you select segments of a clip. If you can play back and select clips, you're then ready to use F to mark a segment as a favorite and the delete key to reject segments. This will help you organize your clips and organization is one of the most important things when you're editing content. If you're not organized, you're gonna get lost. You're gonna waste a lot of time looking for stuff and we don't want that. We want you to be able to edit your stuff very well. So that's what I have for you on the first episode here of the Funnel Cut Gym. And just to summarize what we looked at here, we looked at five things. We talked about moving projects.